Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Christian Architect. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. In today's video, it will be the part 2 of how to draw a basic architectural floor plan. Without further ado, let's get started. The first one, we're going to do the doors and window. Go to the rectangle icon. And the dimension is 900 and 150. Then you select all the line and then change the layer into a doors layer. And select the line again and click explode. And then go to the copy command, type in 25, enter, 50, enter. Using the mirror command to mirror the selected line by using the midpoint as the base point. And using the offset command 40 mm. And using the trim object, select the line and trim the unwanted line. Now you have your door frame. Next, go to the center to radius, select the first point, and go to the second point. line command, draw a vertical line, and using the offset command, 35, and this part is actually your door leaf, and go to the trim and select the line, trim the unwanted line. Select all the line, and then put into a door layer. And you can add the hatching at the door frame. It's just an optional. And you select all the line and type in group so that it will be easier for you to move and copy later on. And the next step, we're going to do the window. The dimension is 1200 by 150. Select all the line and change into window layer. Select the line again and click Explode and go to the offset, type in 50, enter. And the next one, go to offset and type in 25, enter. And go to line and find the midpoint. And then go to offset, 25, and then offset left and right from the midpoint. And then offset again, 50 mm left and right and select the line and put into a window layer and then go to the trim and trim the unwanted line select all the line and type in group and then we're going to use the copy command and select the door and Move it into the drawing. And then we're going to use the mirror command to mirror the door to the left side of the room by using the midpoint as the best point. And then you can using the copy command to copy the door to the master bedroom. Now copy the door, move it into the kitchen area and turn it on the auto mode and then turn it off when place it into the door opening and then for the toilet door the dimension will be 750 by 150 and again select the door and then put it into a door layer and then use the offset 25 enter and then use the offset 40 and then select the line and click trim and remove the unwanted line Now that your door frame is done, go to circle, center to radius, your first point, and then go to the second point, and then go to line, draw a vertical line, and go to offset, 35, enter, and go to the line, and then select all the line, and go to trim, trim the unwanted line, and select the line again, and type, and you can add the hatching by selecting the hatching area, 
and you select the line and then type in group. Copy the door and rotate into a suitable position. You can turn on the auto mode to get a perfect angle of the door rotation and using the mirror command to mirror the door. The next one, we're going to do the main door. The dimension is 1800 by 150. And then you can go to the rectangle command and then do the door and then make sure that you do in the right layer. Select the line and click explode. And go to offset 25, enter. And go to offset again, 40 mm, enter. And go to line, find the midpoint. And after that, go to the trim and select all the line and trim the unwanted line. And go to the circle, center to radius. Using the line command and draw a vertical line. And then you go to offset 35 mm. And then you can copy the line. And then draw a straight line. And then you can trim and select all the object. And then you can begin with the trimming. And then you can go to the hatching also. You can select the line and then put in the group and then you can use the rotate and then you can move the mando and place it in the drawing. And then you can copy the window and drag it to the drawing area. And then you can copy the window and using the mirror command to mirror the window And then the next one, we're going to draw the window for the toilet. The dimension is 600 by 150 mm. And you can offset 50 mm. And offset again 25 mm. And select the line and then you can use the trim command to trim the unwanted line. And you can select all the line and then put it into group. Turn off the auto mode and then you can go to copy and then place it in the toilet one. And then and have another copy to the toilet tool and then use the mirror tool to mirror the window. And the next part, we're going to add the furniture into our drawing. Go to the common bar, type in ADC, and go down, go to the ADC center, and then hit enter. Now that you have uh, various type of block inside here. So how you can import this to your drawing is simply select the object and then press left and hold it, drag it to the drawing. For some of you having trouble finding this uh, ADC center, I'm gonna show you how you can go to the AutoCAD block You'll need go to the ENS, double click, go to the design center, and then there's only two drawing that you will need to look up here, home space planner and house designer. If you click the home space, so simply double click, and then you go to block, and then you can see uh, what I have just dragged just now. And the other one is the house designer, so you go to block. I'm going to go to the copy of the auto mode, go here, and then I'm going to rotate this pad, and I'm going to move again, and then go to copy,
So the size of the sink is 621. I think I'm just gonna go to the scale to scale the sink and then scale it 0 0.8. So I just make it slightly smaller. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to make a symbol for the shower. So this one is 100, enter. Go to line again. Start from the midpoint. 100. Bed closet and the sink. And then I'm going to put a text. So text I'm just going to copy from here. And then go to copy, select this. I'm just going to bring here. Okay, now that you completed for this part. So I'm just going to delete this one. So next one, we're going to add the text on each area to indicate what is the function of the area. Okay. So you just simply go to copy and then copy the text here. To the text layer. This one is a master bedroom. Double click, select all, I'm just going to make the inner center. And then press PR. I'm just gonna change the text slightly smaller, 150, I guess. Okay, now that we have copied all of the text, so we just need to continue edit the text. And next one, we're going to do the apron surrounding the perimeter of the external wall. So you go to a layer properties and add another layers for the apron. Then we go to the layer apron, go to the rectangle. Then make a rectangle for the here. Okay. And then the size of the apron you can put it as a 1000 so you can go to offset and then type in 1000 and then we will offset again to 150 for the drainage and again 25 enter for the side of the drainage so that you can see that the text dimension is clashed with the drainage. So later on, we will move the text moving up slightly so that it won't uh, distract the drainage. And for our porch, so we go make another triangle, then offset 1000, enter. Let the drainage as well, 150. The side drainage, 25. Okay, so there's a clash here. So what you can do is that we just trim and then we combine all the line into a joint line. Go to trim.
so that now we have this uh, apron that is connected so we're just gonna set the the grid and then just gonna move this the horizontal we're gonna select all of this and then we're just gonna clean all the unnecessary line like this one it shouldn't have crossing the bedroom to here Or you can also draw a straight line as an indication so you can just click the dimension and and then you can trim and then you can select the dimension and then there is a blue square icon you just drag it to the top at the indication line I think that's about it for our video today. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.